Hi, Lindsay Kerstich here. I'm making a video today because somebody had made a suggestion in one of my groups on how to make a mask adjustable using pony beads, something that I would never have thought of. I have because I have a lot of kids and it's cheap. You can find them anywhere. So I just had to share that um, with everybody else. Thank you so much to the person who had that idea. Um, they said if you put a pony bead on the elastic, it will pull and tighten it and make it shorter. Um, and I did that and it was awesome. It worked with um, one quarter inch elastic. I don't think it'll work with one eight inch elastic, sorry, but it will definitely work with one quarter inch. Um, and also this is meant for masks that go around the, the elastic goes around the head. I'm not sure how it will work with the elastic that goes around the ears. Maybe it will be uncomfortable. I don't know. Um, but you could try it. Um, so anyway, I, I made a bunch of masks with these um, using the pony bead method and um, had some issues. You know, when I was pulling them on, the bead kept popping off. So I thought there had to be an easier way to um, get the bead to stay on. And my, really proud, my nine-year-old daughter suggested putting a bead on the end to keep it from popping off. So I tried that and oh my gosh, this is a game changer. So I'm really excited to share it with you. Um, what you're gonna do is cut your elastic one inch larger than what it calls for. Um, so for me on the fitted masks that I use, um, I've been using the um, 15 inch and 12 inch measurement, which is typically for guys um, and then adding an inch to that. So it would be 16 and uh, 13 inch um, piece that you need to cut. What you're gonna do is take one pony bead. It looks like this tiny little thing. Um, kind of pinch your elastic in half so that you can get it in there. Thread it in there. It's on there. And then you're gonna take a second bead. And this is the part that's kind of tricky. So um, if there's an easier way to do this, I would love to hear it. But right now I've just been folding it in half and pinching it really tight towards the top. I don't know if I can see that. And then we're going to thread it on there. Sometimes you have to twist it a little bit. Pull it through. And there you have it. You have your stopper. So it's really important to make sure that you do this before you sew it in your elastic. Otherwise, um, it's not going to work for you. But once you get it on there, this is what it looks like on the mask. It is awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on to show you. Again, just make sure the elastic's not putting any pressure on the ears. Um, I am a healthcare worker, so I don't like to have pressure put on the ears. What am I doing? in my ponytail sorry <laughs> go all right try again all right so see how it's kind of loose in the back you're just gonna take your bead pull it it's tight there let me try the second one pull it tight and you got it your mask is perfectly fitted I'm so excited about this because not everybody's head is the same size. So this makes it so that it is really customizable for everybody. Um, even my 10 year old son, he wears the adult pattern and I can make this for him um, and it will fit him as well. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, please share this trick with everybody that you possibly can because I just want the world to know. Thank you again to the person who suggested it. You are a blessing. So. Thank you and uh, enjoy. Happy mask making. Bye.